the German government has officially decided to send 14 Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. The news was announced by spokesman Stefan Hebestreit to reporters on Wednesday, the 25th of January, 2023. On Tuesday, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz promised Berlin would send a company of Leopard 2 main battle tanks to Ukraine. On Wednesday, Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced in his cabinet that Germany would further increase its military support for Ukraine. He said the federal government had decided to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with Leopard 2 main battle tanks, Hebestreit said. He explained, the decision was made following intensive negotiations held with Germany's closest European and international partners. The aim is to immediately upgrade two tank battalions with Leopard 2 tanks for Ukraine. In the first stage, Germany will provide a company of 14 Leopard 2A6 tanks from the Bundeswehr stockpile, the spokesman said. Germany's European partner, in turn, will also hand over its Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, the official said. In addition, Germany's new aid package will cover ammunition, systems maintenance and logistical assistance, according to the spokesperson. The Russian embassy in Germany reacted by warning. This extremely dangerous decision shifts the Ukrainian conflict to a new level of stalemate. Berlin's choice to supply tanks to Kiev means the ultimate rejection of Germany's historical responsibility to the Russian people, the Russian embassy stressed. The Russian diplomats added, Germany and its close allies are not interested in a diplomatic resolution of the Ukraine crisis and they want to escalate tensions. The developments come after German media quoted unnamed sources as saying Scholz had decided to send a company of Leopard 2 main battle tanks to Ukraine after months of debate. Washington and its allies increased their military support for Kiev after Russia began its special military operation in Ukraine on February 24, 2022. The Russian aggression was launched following requests for aid from the Donbass republics of Donetsk and Luhansk. Moscow has condemned the U.S. and its allies' military aid to Kiev, which the Kremlin says adds to the prolongation of the Ukraine conflict. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov warned last year that any weapons shipments on Ukrainian soil would become legitimate targets for Russian troops.